Hi, First Church. We are deep in planning mode for this upcoming church-wide Lenten focus on the spiritual work of resisting racism. And we wanted to take a minute to um, have a, a conversation um, on video and share that with you a little bit about why we are doing this and exactly what we're going to be doing during this season of Lent. And just to invite you to be a part of it and to be open to that journey with us. So let's start, um, Kathy, let's start with you. Um, could you share a little bit about the history of studying racism at First Church and what's been done so far? We've been doing small group studies on racism for five or six years already. And uh, these studies have had a significant impact on those that have participated. And so we'd like to take the conversation wider. And include the whole church, right? Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. Bringing it out to everybody. So Devin, you have, um, really dug into this conversation about racism personally, um, yourself, and had some really major experiences and done a lot of study yourself, and then brought the youth uh, ministry into that as well over the last few years. Could you share a little bit about, um, about racism as um, a problem that we need to address in church? Yeah. I think when, when we think of racism, we think a lot of the civil rights era and the prejudice that was so clear with segregation and Jim Crow, that today when we look around, it might be easy to think, well, that was a thing of the past. Um, but when we really consider the system that is racism, not just the prejudice against other people, but the system that's in place that built this country, it really informs us of the ways in which every aspect of our life is determined by race, and especially in America, be it where we live, where we go to school, where we go to church, the type of friends that we have, where we feel most comfortable, all of those are influenced by racism. Uh, and it's the system, it's not just the way in which we feel about one another. So let's talk a little bit about what we're actually going to be doing during the season of Lent, how we're approaching it. Everyone is coming at this from a different starting place as we begin this Lenten journey together. So we have taken a multi-layered approach, right? Um, we're allowing each person to decide what they are ready to take on. So for folks who are ready to take a step beyond worship, what would be a next step for them? So next step would be, we're going to have these daily interruptions where we'll send out content every single day at Lent where people can either watch a video or read an article or have a prayerful meditation and follow with some questions that really get into what is racism? How do we carry it? How might we be participating in racism in ways that are probably going to make us feel uncomfortable? Um, but that's one of the first questions of most of them is, how are we emotionally responding to this? Uh, so that's an, another level if people wanna go a little bit deeper every day. Awesome. So then talk to us about the book study, Kathy. Right, one of the most important steps we're encouraging people to take is to read the book White Fragility. Uh, this book explores the counterproductive reactions that many white people have when challenged about race. So we're going to be having small groups where we're inviting folks to read the book together, to have those conversations, and to journey through this book during Lent. This book is so important for this entire conversation, but I think especially for us as a predominantly white congregation, I'm so glad that that is one of the centerpieces of this season for us. Um, but what about folks who feel like they can't read the book, um, don't have time, or just not ready for that? What could they do? So we'll, we'll be holding a class on Sunday mornings during Sunday School Hour in Wesley Hall, where Kathy and I will lead uh, whoever is present through conversations from the book that really get into the topics so that you don't have to read a single page to participate in these conversations, but you'll get the same um, content. It's going to be hard work for everyone, but we believe that church is a place where we can do hard work. We can have tough conversations, right? And Lent is the perfect time to do just that. It's the time when we can, in a sense, put on that sackcloth that makes us a little bit uncomfortable and, um, and trust that God will be at work in that discomfort and um, growing us and changing us both individually and as a community of people who are seeking to transform the world um, through God's love. And so it's not about political correctness. This isn't about um, just self-improvement. It's 
not about being on the right side of history or having the right opinion. This is about dealing with one of the greatest evils of our time that affects both our individual lives and it affects our entire society and world. This is spiritual work that God calls each one of us to do as followers of Christ. So um, thank you all for your work. I'm so excited for this season that is coming and just invite the church already to be in prayer for our church and for this um, season of our life together, this Lenten season.